Well, it's not often I get all warmed up about an Ag Minute, but Lauren Tom this week is going to tell us the story of a common household item, and be it whether you're warming up a cup of coffee or heating up a frozen dinner is something that most of us, Lauren, just cannot do without. That's right. I can't do that either. I'm talking about the microwave, not the frozen dinners. Well, this week's Ag Minute is on the history of the microwave, and surprisingly, it wasn't invented because people were looking for a faster way to cook. In fact, it was discovered completely by accident when a chocolate bar melted in someone's pocket. The beginning of the microwave takes us back to a radar lab in the 1940s where scientists were experimenting with microwaves to try to track Nazi planes on their way to bomb the British Isles. This guy, Percy LeBron Spencer, was working in that lab and had a chocolate bar in his pocket that melted. Surprised by what happened, Spencer tried it again, this time with some popcorn kernels. And to his surprise, they popped. So he then fed the microwaves into a metal box. And by containing the energy in a box, it cooked food even faster. That metal box would become the very first microwave. And it was marketed as the radar range. And it was the size of a refrigerator. The very first microwave cost $5,000 and was used in a restaurant in Boston. But the overall acceptance of microwaves in the home didn't do too well. People thought the microwave ruined the fine art of cooking and felt it was too complicated and big and, well, the average American kitchen just didn't have the space for it. But over the next few years, the microwave got smaller and more affordable. And by 1975, microwaves exceeded the sales of gas ranges. And by the 1980s, the microwave wasn't a luxury, it became a necessity. Today, more than 90% of all households in America have a microwave. And in a recent study, Americans ranked it the number one technology that makes their lives easier. Well, moving on to Twilight Trivia, last week we asked you how many boxes of Kraft Mac and Cheese were sold in 1937. The answer is one million. Now for this week's question. Which company first marketed the microwave? Was it A, Frigidaire, B, Amana, or is it C, Whirlpool? Log on to TwilightTV.org to submit your answer and we'll send one correct entry, a Twyla coffee mug, and a signed copy of Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Diabetic Cooking Cookbook, which I love the fish tacos to die for. Well, you know, I'm going to say that it's the Frigidaire because my grandmother never referred to her refrigerator as a refrigerator. It was an icebox? No, she called it the Frigidaire. <laughs> That's so, uh, cute. Thanks, Lauren Tom.